U.S. carrier and Soviet sub collide. In another collision, three airmen killed and Rockford to get new airline service. Next on Newswatch 17. Lace has a sale where every new truck will be sold with extra gear. When you buy a new van or lightweight pickup from current stock during this March sale, we'll also fit you with a cap, a jacket, and your choice of a pair of top quality work boots from Red Wing. However, you get all this extra gear only at the Lace Days truck sale, Thursday, March 22 through Sunday, March 25. So you'll find the best buy in a truck with the extra gear from Lace in Oregon. Purdue Marine and Johnson Motors invite you to enjoy the quiet times. <laughs> or the active times. Do Marine for the times of your life. Don't miss Purdue Marine's biggest boat show ever. Huge savings on all boats and accessories. Purdue Marine, your Johnson Outboards dealer. Good evening, Anna's off tonight. The U.S. aircraft carrier Kitty Hawk collided with a nuclear-powered Soviet attack submarine in the southern sea of Japan today. That sub carries a crew of 90 and 18 torpedoes, the Hawk a crew of 5,000. The collision took place in darkness in the Sea of Japan, about 150 miles off the Korean Peninsula. Shortly afterward, a Russian nuclear attack submarine was seen moving slowly away from the right side of the Kitty Hawk. According to the Navy, the sub, which had been closely shadowing the carrier, was not using any running lights. It did not put out a distress signal or ask for assistance. There were no casualties aboard the Kitty Hawk and no apparent damage to the carrier. Naval experts say that today's incident is simply one more example of increasingly aggressive Soviet naval activity worldwide. U.S. officials say that the Russians have spent the past 20 years developing a worldwide naval capability. Now they're practicing how to project that power, frequently very close to the United States. Jack Reynolds, NBC News, at the Pentagon. Three airmen killed today in the collision of two Air Force jets, T-38s. A fourth survived the crash. The planes were on a training mission with two other jets when it happened. Well, Rockford gets another scheduled airline June 8th. Frontier is the nation's 12th largest air carrier. It plans to operate three flights daily from Rockford to Denver nonstop by way of Madison and by way of Cedar Rapids and Des Moines. Frontier will join Mississippi Valley Airlines in serving Rockford. Other carriers have tried and failed. Some of them, TWA, Ozark, Braniff, Commuter, and Coleman. Mike Lapeer thinks Frontier will make it, sure. He says the schedule will, will come up later. It will all be single plane service, so the Rockford passenger will not have to leave the plane at any of the stops. Once in Denver, he'll be able to make con connections to a number of West Coast cities, such as Los Angeles, Seattle, Portland, Vancouver and some Mexican cities as well. Frontier will use 110 passenger Boeing 737s. Well, it's eastward ho for the three Democrats still scrapping for their party's presidential nomination. Walter Mondale won yesterday's Illinois primary. Next up are caucuses in Kansas, Montana, and Virginia. Then Tuesday's primary in Connecticut, where Gary Hart is expected to win, but the candidates aren't paying too much attention to them, taking a few days off to raise money for the big New York and Pennsylvania primaries in the next two weeks. Jesse Jackson didn't win his home state of Illinois yesterday, but proved himself a major factor by sparking a record black turnout, particularly in Chicago. Now he's in Virginia, where 68 delegates are at stake in caucuses Saturday. And Rockford joins three other school districts in celebrating referendum victories from yesterday. However, Mike Robinson reports there were three other school systems not as fortunate. The area winners include the North Boone School District. They passed by a narrow margin, a 75 cent increase in taxes to be divvied up between its education and building and operations funds. Pecatonica School District's request for 59 cents more per $100 assessed valuation met with favor from the voters, particularly those in Winnebago County. And the Rockton School District received a firm yes from voters for a 35 cent increase despite getting a firm no from them three times before. Apparently, the answer no came easy to Mount Morris voters toward their district's call for a $1.40 increase. Both the education and building fund referendums went down, causing, as the superintendent put it, a critical problem for the system, which is facing a $200,000 deficit.
the board has already voted to come back in November and not to make any cuts for next year. And I would assume that I haven't heard anything different, and I would assume that would be their approach. Turner says the consolidation of Mount Morris with another district is also being looked into. Joining them in the loser's bracket was the Dixon School District. Both measures of their referendum proposal received a thumbs down from voters. They got the same response last November. And despite being its sixth attempt in the last six elections, Voters still aren't convinced Sock Valley College needs 17 and a half cents more, soundly defeating both its education and building fund proposals. Mike Robinson, Newswatch 17. And nearly half of Illinois' registered voters went to the polls in yesterday's primary election. They're saying the 45% turnout breaks records dating back to 1952. Ford and General Motor cars called back to the shop. And in Wisconsin, they're trying to stop border hopping. So don't go away. Hey, Ray Nitschke, you gonna pick up one of these new Oldsmobiles? Anyone can. They're the new Diamond Anniversary Edition. They're value packages. Only from the Olds Reliables, with 200 bucks worth of options included in the price. You mean options like wire or sport wheel covers, stereo radio, and pulse wipers. Right, and each has its Diamond Anniversary medallion. Sounds like people better pick one up right away. GM's not gonna have another 75th anniversary real soon. Yeah, after this year, Root will retire their number. Olds Reliables. birthday sale. Go for it. Hard driving savings on Munsingware knit shirts. Great selection at just $12.99. What a feeling when you wear 14 karat gold. Kohl's complete selection at 55% off. Looking good in health techs. Cool at numbers? Entire selection for girls and boys. 20 to 33% off. If you miss Kohl's birthday sale, you'll be all wet. McDonald's brings you the morning news. A hot, sizzling sausage McMuffin. A McMuffin sandwich with a sizzle in the middle. Come on in and try it. McDonald's and you. McDonald's has two. A sausage McMuffin with melted cheese. Or sausage McMuffin with egg, if you please. They've got sizzle. It's sausage McMuffin. In the middle. And sausage McMuffin with egg. McDonald's and you. The most fun you can have on four wheels is on Suzuki Sure-Footed Quad Runners. Only at your Suzuki dealer, where you'll get the sensation of Suzuki. If you're having problems with your Ford or General Motors car, it might be because it's on a national recall list. The Ford Motor Company is voluntarily recalling nearly 9,400 Escort, EXP, and Lynx cars to fix an air control valve that may be hampering emission controls. While the uh, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is seeking to force the recall of over one million General Motors cars, an investigation found the vehicles had handling problems due to an imbalance of braking. If the Wisconsin State Assembly takes their cue from the State Senate, Illinois youths who go to the Badger State to drink may not be welcomed there soon. The Senate has approved legislation disallowing persons to drink in Wisconsin if they're too young to drink in their home state. The measure is aimed at curbing so-called border hopping. The drinking age in Wisconsin is soon to be 19, it's 21 in Illinois. The legislation does not apply to out-of-state students going to Wisconsin schools. And talks scheduled to resume today between White Sunstrand and the UAW have been postponed for another week. The strike now in its 301st day is over wages, fringe benefits, and management rights items. The facility under the expired contract is the most expensive machine tool operation in the whole world. Well, if you're over 40, chances are pretty good you have childhood memories of the door-to-door -door salesman who used to drop in every couple of months, peddling brushes, mops, and other household items. The Fuller Brush Man, a name from the past, but the past still lives. One problem Norman Hall has is that most people think he doesn't exist anymore. Norman is a fuller brush man, a species often thought to be extinct. Good morning, Eleanor. Most brush salesmen don't go to homes anymore. Well, people don't want to open their right. doors to strangers these remember. days. So Norman goes to businesses in San Francisco. He cleans and polishes level doors, blinds, and shutters six at a time. Like Fuller Brush Men since 1906, Norman still carries a case of samples. He walks over 10 miles a day, and he says he makes a nice middle-class living. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Norm. Dennis. Norman is proud that Fuller Brushes never seem to wear out. 
These uh, hand and nail brushes are classic. They've been around since the early 20s. He has calluses from carrying his sample case. This is called a fuller brush callus. But he says in a job like this, you learn a lot about human nature. Whenever you're asking people to part with their money, uh, you, you get to know people quite well. It's like watching people at a poker game, I suppose. Of course, Norman has to keep a sense of humor when he announces that he's a fuller brush man. And I'll hear the woman saying, uh, there's a fuller brush man out in the front, and you'll hear shrieks and gales of laughter. And I always have to establish my credibility five times every day without fail. He's around steady, like clockwork. Yes, Norman Hall is a lot like a sturdy fuller brush. He lasts. Janine Yeomans for NBC News. Well, it's the first full day of spring, but a wintry storm is spreading snow and freezing rain from northeast Iowa across the Great Lakes to North Carolina. And who will we blame on that? Mr. Kevin. He's next. Four years ago really wasn't the best time to start college. The economy was in big trouble. Inflation was going crazy, and the future didn't look good at all. And those people in Washington kept over-promising, so we voted them out. And now things are going in the right direction. You can feel it everywhere. We've got strong leaders now, and America is moving again, and the future looks good again. And there's just no way we'll give that up for the empty promises of the past. Curtis Mathis is celebrating the second anniversary of our East State Center. There will be great savings on all Curtis Mathis TVs, stereos, and VCRs. Portable Curtis Mathis from $298. With a four-year warranty. Curtis Mathis Compact Stereos at $149.95. With a four-year warranty. Over $300 savings on Curtis Mathis VCRs. With a four-year warranty. Every Curtis Mathis TV has a four-year warranty. Great savings on all three Curtis Mathis Centers. We've got spring fever at Dodge City Toyota. Get the new 1984 Shelby Cruiser for just $1 over dealer cost. Or check out the 1984 Dodge Omni, a five-door hatchback for as little as $56.22. And the sporty three-door Charger starting as low as $68.80. And at Dodge City Toyota, we give you top dollar for your old car and trade. Warm up to the best buys around during Dodge City Toyota's spring fever sale. Going on now at 5711 East State Street. Does your wardrobe need freshening up? Knight's Armor has fresh new ideas in men's and boys' clothing for spring. Act now and take advantage of Knight's Armor's 12-month wardrobe plan. Purchase $600 in clothing and make 12 monthly payments of $52.74. Select from famous name brand clothing such as Hart Schaffner Marks, Landvin, Cricketeer, Christian Dior, and more. Shop Knight's Armor where you can select from over 2,000 suits and sports coats in boys' sizes 8 to 20, students 36 to 40, and men's 38 to 52 and take 12 months to pay. That's Knight's Armor, Highcrest Center in Colonial Village. That slowpoke storm system is taking its own miserable time shuffling to the east. A truck turned over on an icy Tennessee highway today and chased 160 kids out of school. The truck was loaded, literally. It was hauling mortar shells. And at least 27 deaths in Saturday have been linked to the storm. I poked my nose out the door here just a minute ago, Bob, and we're really lucky. The moon is out and bright. The odor of freshly cut grass, the crickets cricketing. It's a beautiful... <laughs> how, far did you, how far did you stick your neck out? <laughs> About 300 miles south. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be nice to hear the crickets oh, cricketing? Really would. You know, for a while, they, uh, the animals were coming out of hibernation in uh, February. Now they've gone mm. back into hibernation again. Mm. So, I don't know. I think I'm ready to go into hibernation. <laughs> 34 degrees was our highest reading today, and 32 was the low last night. And in Rockford right now, we have a temperature reading of 33 degrees at this hour. Dixon's reporting 35. Most temperatures are in the low to mid-30s right now. The humidity is 99% with the winds out of the northwest at 20, gusting up to 30, and the barometer reads 29.37. It's going up. The sun will be on the rise at 557 tomorrow, sets tomorrow night at 611. Palm Springs, California, where it's always warm, was even warmer today. They had 93 degrees for the warmest temperature in the USA. Snow throughout the Midwest tonight, over into the eastern states, Rain and showers up in the Pacific Northwest. And say, speaking of the western states, at Gunnison, Colorado, the temperature climbed to 7 degrees, or rather dropped to 7 degrees for the nation's low. Look at these jet streams. What that indicates is that cold air 
the coldest part of the country is uh, experiencing those cool temperatures right here. Much warmer here in the Plain States and throughout most of the western states, they're getting heat waves out in the far west, but the cloud cover that's covering us will continue to spread rain and showers tonight and snow a couple of inches is possible by tomorrow morning here in the Rockford area. Uh, snow in through the Great Lakes. That extends over into Virginia tonight, so that's the way our weather looks. Really, it looks still like winter, and spring seems to be a long way away, even though our calendar says differently. Ben Franklin advised people of his time to do business when the wind was out of the northwest. He knew that air from that direction was buoyant, dry, and hopeful, the best state for quick decisions. Here's a decision you won't like as far as the weather's concerned. Snow is in my forecast and 25 for an overnight low. It's going to be a wet, kind of a heavy snow. Cloudy, cold tomorrow. Daytime high will be 38. Then on Friday, under cloudy skies, 38 degrees again for a daytime high. On Saturday, it'll be raining, but again about 38 for a high reading. Sunday, mostly cloudy, 34, so it'll be a little cooler then. And on Monday, partly cloudy and back up to 38 for a daytime high. So temperatures probably won't be that warm. Nothing to write home about. 25 for a low tonight. A couple of inches of snow is possible by tomorrow yeah. morning. And then uh, 38 for a high uh, tomorrow. So it's going to be chilly again. And right now we have 33. You know, speaking of the uh, animals coming out of hibernation prematurely, I noticed some chipmunks out at our place coming out. You know, they don't usually come up until the snow is long yeah. gone. So. Yeah. Well, Mother Nature fools its own creatures. And the geese are going north. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, Rick Melke up next with sports, including a look at girls' high school playoff action. If you're feeling every bump in the road when you drive, Firestone has just what you need. Ride Master Shocks at spectacular savings. So if you need shocks, come in now during Firestone Shock Special Days. Right now, you can get Ride Master Shocks for as little as $11.88 each, plus installation. Find out for yourself why Firestone's long-lasting Ride Master Shock is designed for the way you drive. But hurry, the Firestone Ride Master Shock Special won't last long, so don't miss it. Engine heat, high RPMs, make today's smaller, harder-working engines run hot, like these racers. And for protection, there's new Amico Ultimate 100% synthetic motor oil. Look how Ultimate resists high heat on this engine cylinder wall. Premium oil thickens, loses its protection, but Ultimate keeps flowing and lubricating. Ultimate helps engines last longer. And American Legend returns to Rockford Metro Center March 30th through April 1st. The Miller High Life World's Toughest Rodeo. Three big performances over 200 pro rodeo athletes. World Championship competition. Award-winning production with comedy, color, and pageantry. Great family entertainment. Get your tickets now at Metro Center Box Office and Bergner's. To charge tickets by phone, call 968-5222. When you see it, you'll know why it's the world's toughest rodeo. The Great American Bike, tested by pros at the Olympic Bike Track in L.A. for high-speed handling, precision shifting through all 12 gears. These bikes are yours with purchases at American. Hand-built lug frame, 90-pound pressure tires, quick-release front wheel, and the bikes are yours with thousands of items. A four-piece bedroom set is only $348 with the bike. Select any of these lamps for $99 and get two bikes. Stereo systems for only $288 and you get a bike. Add a second set of speakers and get two precision 12-speed bikes. Now during the Great American TV Bike Sale. With Bill Phillips and I always know what's going on. I don't care okay, weather watch because your forecast oh, friend's spirit gets there before the fire starts. Kevin Ryan played a song yeah. that took me I back to the song. I love the RLK song. The RLK plays my favorite music. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Ryan's so easy to listen to. Listen to the rest of Doug McCown and Joe. Did you hear that guest with Lee Carrick on RLK last night? Finally, there's something intelligent on in the evening. Good evening, this is Lee Carrick on WROK. If you're not tuned to WROK, you're not in tune with Rockford. Cute little gal on the right there. Uh, you notice uh, Rick's tie? It's almost like he isn't wearing a tie. I was waiting for you to comment on that. <laughs> no, I like it. Is it? Is it look okay? It looks nice. Is it, is really it going to start very, a trend? Very, very preppy. Very, very preppy. preppy. Just what so, I wanted. That's what's right. going? Ladies, ladies basketball. We've uh, you know covered the uh, the guys playoffs, high school, college pros. Thought we'd cover those. Cover the ladies. They're funner to watch anyway, aren't they? 
Hello, everybody. Last night, boys basketball. Tonight, the girls take center stage. High school playoff action taking place this evening. We're going to take a look at the title game from the Stillman Valley Class A sectional. Winnebago taking on Amboy. Pick it up for you, third quarter. Bago in the dark uniforms. That's number 12, Amy Newman, up with the soft touch. Indians led by six, late in the quarter. Watch number 15, Marsha Kurt from the corner. Bago at this point up by 10. And boys, Mandy Lovegren gets a bucket inside for the Clippers. Meanwhile, number 33, Brenda Scudder, shows her touch from the outside. She cuts the Winnebago lead to eight points. Then with just four minutes to go, Ann Consendine gets a layup. Tie game at 55. Then with under three minutes remaining, Amboy went ahead for the first time in a long time, went ahead 57-55, and the Clippers rally, in fact, they won it. Final score tonight, Amboy 66, Winnebago 59. Let's go to the scoreboard. Amboy with the win moves on to the Class A sectionals. Meantime, at the Crystal Lake South sectional, the Lady Pretzels of Freeport are upset by Dundee Crown. Freeport had won 21 in a row, and they finished the season with a 26-3 record. In college basketball, men's style, the Battle to Seattle resumes tomorrow night. Four NCAA playoff games Thursday, four more on Friday. One note to pass on from earlier in the day, Miami University, starting a basketball program for play beginning next year, announced today they've signed Clemson head coach Bill Foster to lead the Hurricanes' new team. Foster signed for five years. In the NBA, Chicago's Bulls taking the next two nights off, but the Mil Milwaukee Bucks were in action. They traveled to New Jersey. Came away, seven-point winner. Also, it was Cleveland winning by one against New York. Two other finals to pass on. Dallas, a one-point winner. And the L.A. Lakers by seven over Kansas City. Exhibition baseball, White Sox split their squad up today. Half the team losing an afternoon contest to the Kansas City Royals. Tom Seaver taking the loss. The remaining half played tonight in West Palm Beach, Florida against the Montreal Expos. Pick it up a scoreless tie. Montreal has one on, one out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Number 10, Andre Dawson punches one into left center field. On the bases, Roy Johnson goes from first to third base. Expos now with runners at the corner, and remember, there's just one out. That brings up catcher Gary Carter to the plate. The All-Star nails one into the right center field alley. Johnson scores, and Dawson comes all the way from first base to score. Carter gets a double, and for the most part, that's all you need to know. Chicago's bats were absolutely silent tonight. Watch Jeff Reardon mow him down in the ninth inning. Sox managed just six hits. Eleven hitters struck out, including the final six of the ball game. Final score from West Palm Beach. Montreal, two, and the White Sox, nothing. Now for the bad news. Cubs are looking terrible this spring. A 6-3 loss to California this afternoon puts them at 3-12 for the preseason. Pre Far and away the worst record in baseball. Now, we'd like to see a pennant winner at Wrigley Field this summer, but despite a few new faces, the Cubs have got to be considered a long shot. And now it's time for the annual Chicago Cubs spring training story. When reporters are supposed to ask that immortal question, is this going to be the Cubs' year? In the future, uh, the Chicago Cubs uh, have a chance to, uh, to, to be in, uh, one of the contending teams. Uh, I think if everything, if we just stay healthy and do the things that we're capable of doing, we're going to make a lot of noise. Everybody feels that uh, this is the year that they're going to be better and so forth, and uh, I would like to think that we're going to be better also. So much for the stock answers, but there are really some changes on the team you should know about. Namely, Jim Fry, who takes over for Charlie Fox, who took over for Lee Ilya, and the list goes on and on. Jim Fry is a pitcher's manager, and obviously uh, one of the sore points of the Chicago Cubs is pitching, and uh, he's very uh, statistical-minded. Can Rick Russell come around and be productive? Dick Ruthven and Scott Sanderson are both keys, so the prognosis for the Cubs is this. Stay tuned. If they stay healthy and their pitching solidifies, they could make the National East a lot more interesting. In Phoenix, Mark Curtis for NBC News. From the ballpark to the hockey rink, Chicago's Blackhawks on home ice facing the Winnipeg Jets. And after losing six straight on the road, the Hawks seem to like home cooking. 6-2, they're leading late in the third period. The World Cup ski season winding down in Svizen, West Germany, the final ladies' giant slalom race of the winter. And you're looking at the winner, American Tamara McKinney, finishes the tour on a positive note. Her time down the mountain just better than Erica Hess of Switzerland and Cindy Nelson of the U.S. finished in fifth place. Got a call from Northern Illinois tonight. They had their basketball banquet. Uh, to nobody's surprise, Tim Dillon named the men's most valuable player, second year in a row. Rockford Boylan's Carl Armado was named the recipient of the Mr. Hustle. I guess that says Mr. Hustle, Secretary of Defense. 
How about just Mr. Hustle Award? That's and he also good. played good defense. We have a golf result, too. NIU finished in 15th place in a 2014 golf tournament down in Central Florida, won by the Ohio State Buckeyes. Very good. Okay. Very good. Thanks, Rick. All righty. Investors waited until late in the day before deciding on a direction for Wall Street, and the result was a weak loss. If you've never traveled in a Van Gelder bus, you're in for a surprise. The newest, most advanced buses in the world take you where you want to go and take you there in style. Van Gelder Bus Company offers a round-trip schedule to and from O'Hare International. Leave Howard Johnson's in Rockford four times daily beginning at 6.40 a.m. The last bus arrives at O'Hare at 5.45 p.m. Whether you're involved with business or pleasure, choose Van Gelder as a convenient and affordable way to travel together. Van Gelder, going that extra mile just for you. First thing tomorrow morning, plan on rushing over to Prangy's store-wide savings spree, where there'll be fantastic savings on hundreds of items throughout the store, including women's dresses, shoes, foundations, uh, men's blazers, sport coats, uh, shirts, slacks, luggage, bakeware, a lot of stuff. <laughs> at any rate, it all starts tomorrow at Prangy's store-wide savings spree, where you'll save no matter how you look at it. Let me show you why the broad-spectrum insect control of Counter can make it profitable to treat first-year corn. Last year, Counter was tested in fields previously planted in soybeans, alfalfa, or just left to sod. Compared to the untreated areas, Counter fields yielded an average of 10 bushels more an acre. 10 extra bushels. That's why Counter makes it profitable to treat first-year corn. You could try to make a million dollars this way. Yes, this will make me a million dollars. Or play bankroll instant lottery. Today in New York Central Park, Yoko Ono, along with son Sean and John Lennon's son Julian, attended Strawberry Fields, a two-and-a-half-acre teardrop-shaped stretch of the park across the street from where Lennon was slain in December 1980. Yoko, who will donate a million dollars to the project, called it a peace garden, with the only reference to John being the word imagine after the song laid along one of the pathways. Touching ceremony. Well, we're going to check Bob again for that weather and uh, see what's going to happen there. Huh? Little snow in our future tonight. Wet snow, maybe a couple inches by tomorrow morning. 25 for an overnight low. Cloudy, cold, 38 degrees for a high tomorrow. Right now, we've got a temperature of 33 degrees here in Rockford. Okay, Bob. In other words, springtime, a long time of coming. In brief, reviewing our top stories, a U.S. aircraft carrier and a nuclear-powered submarine collided today in the Sea of Japan. No one hurt. New airline will fly out of Rockford Frontier to begin service June 8th. The Wisconsin Senate passes a bill to curb border hopping. That's underage youths who come across the border to drink. That's it for now. We'll be back tomorrow at 5. For all of us here at Newsmark 17, thanks for joining us, and have a good night. Newswatch 17 is a presentation of WTBO Television. Ford and Mercury opened its doors in 1918, and back then, this little number was hot. That was 66 years ago. This is what's hot today. The newest Ford and Mercury's from compact to luxury models. At Bemis, our inventory changes with the times, but the way we do business doesn't. You can always depend on an honest deal from an honest new car dealer. Bemis, Ford and Mercury in Oregon and Byron, where generations of satisfied customers have kept us growing. You could try to make a million dollars this way. Yes, this will make me a million dollars. 
or play bankroll instant lottery. At the Golden Dolphin during March, you will save on all wicker items, towel stands, hampers, mirrors, and more. Golden Dolphin, 4616 East State and Edgebrook Center. WTBO Channel 17, Rockford.